Charlie, welcome to Penn State. Thank, Thank you, you so much for great, really, really cool, it's exciting awesome. it's uh, ta talk here. Looking forward to uh, learning more about your program. Um, so this is Coil Perspectives, and, and what we do is when we have uh, visitor uh, experts in, we like to ask them a series of questions. And what we do is pick one question per year. So this year our question really has to do around learning. Uh, the center we work for, Center for Online Innovation and Learning, is all about addressing and serving students um, in ways that help them retain and succeed. And, and so the question kind of came out of, well, how do we know what the problems are with learning? And the best way we thought was to talk to faculty members. So our first question is about, from your experience, mm -hmm. what do you see as the things that are inhibiting our students from learning? And it could be, you know, really basic, like, well, they have to work at night mm -hmm. or something. But reflections? I, yeah, I think, um, so, you know, whether, whether it's K-12, university, postdoc, what, whatever it might be, I think there's different, um, obviously, very specific inhibitors to learning. It, and, you know, whether it's the achievement gap, access to technology, funding, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different issues. But I think, based on even what I said or talked about in the presentation, I think we as faculty or leaders or you know, superintendents or presidents of universities, or, I think we actually create too much complexity. Mm -hmm. and, and it does mm -hmm. somehow seep through into the culture. Um, I, students actually know a lot more about the bureaucracy of universities mm -hmm. than we as faculty think they know. Mm -hmm. And it's fine for them to know. I think it should be very transparent. But they should never worry about that. They should never worry about the issues that we sometimes almost create in our institutions by ourselves. Like we, we, you know, there's, they're almost like self-created um, inhibitors and barriers sometimes that, that don't need to be there. Um, so like one, one example is professors should have a lot more freedom in using a lot more freedom and support in using whatever types of tech they want in their class. Mm -hmm. So just because your university uses ABC learning management system doesn't mean I should have to. I mean, just because my university uses it. And I think that the hard part is, is that we used something, this was several years ago, we didn't like um, whatever the university was using for their LMS, but we, because it was lacking in the social presence. It was lacking in building a community. And we found something called Ning. And Ning mm -hmm. really wasn't about teaching, it was about a community. You know, if you have like a motorbike thing, you put it on Ning, you have a conference, you put it on Ning. And my colleague Aaron said, you know, I'm just gonna use it and teach my classes in Ning. I can still put the same types of links. I don't grade anyway, you know, I give mm -hmm. feedback. It's not about grades, it's about, I don't need all the grade book and task things. And I'm just gonna host my classes in there. And what happened is students started sharing photos of their vacation, their family, their dogs, their mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden we had a whole culture in there. We had social presence and then everybody gets into it. We didn't have all the barriers. We didn't have all the, the complexity in discussions about, yeah. you know, everything else at the university. And I think the simplicity there um, is the answer to like getting rid of the barriers is mm -hmm. if everybody looked at like the 10 things on their plate and picked three, I bet the university would be a lot more, Interesting. Um, a lot more efficient, a lot more um, creativity, productivity, mm -hmm. outcomes and we, we, we like to load our plates. It's not good. You know, it reminds me of a quote. As a matter of fact, I, I just removed a quote from my tagline. Was it, so I'm not going to get it quite right. Albert Einstein said something, you know, my learning was great, except that education got in the way. <laughs> Which, I, you know, yeah. I just, it really resonated. So yeah. I, what you're saying really resonates with me. So in, in a uh, best case scenario, let's say you had all the resources in the world mm -hmm. and all the time in the world, what, would, what, would, what oh. could we do? To, to address that mic, issue sorry. of, um, it's the first time we've ever done that, so there you go, a little excitement in there for Haley. Uh, what could we do to create an environment where we reduce some of those barriers? What might that look like? I don't think funding's always the answer. I don't think that solves everything. Um, you know, I'm very much a constructivist and very much a, you know, learn by doing and, and value failure. Um, and I think uh, it really boils down into it doesn't cost a lot to support people in the unique things they're doing more. And, and so like with the Ning example, um, Aaron said, I'm just going to use this. But then he had some issues with it. Mm -hmm. And the university said, yeah, we don't support that. OK, so a tech support person, they're already hired. They're salaried for the year. It doesn't, you know, first of all, can they one off with everybody in the university? No, it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. But can they spend five minutes and just say, let me take a look? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't cost that much. But because policy said we don't support this thing, mm -hmm. I don't get it. Yeah. And I think it's not really about funding, although funding does play into things. It's just that trust and support in 
the value of failure as an institution rather than, rather than being so worried about how we're portrayed on the news or how we're portrayed in the media. And, yeah, yeah. You know, trying to be proactive on not having negative content out there. Yeah. Um, if we just support each other and communicate and not have a lot of drama, yeah. uh, things can go really well. And that doesn't always cost very much money. So I think I know what your answer is to this last question. Which okay. Is okay. So the first one was about, you know, what do you see as the in inhibitor? Second one was if you could sort of create the best of the worlds. The third one is about what's the first step we can take? I want to see if what you answer is, is the I want to know what same. my answer is. So I would, I would think you would say um, get over the fear of failure. Just don't worry about that. As a matter of fact, what I hear you saying, if I can... In, if I could speak for Charlie, yes, but, you know, you, you would say use the failures as a learning experience and continue and continue to continue. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it, that would definitely be part of it. Um, the one thing we could do, remove just something from your plate. Mm -hmm. Just remove something. It's really hard to say no in academia, especially as a tenure track professor. It's really, did I just turn this off? No. Uh, it's, it's very hard to say no. Um, and I think people need to be, say no more um, and, and, In and order focus. to do what? What's to the, focus. To, to focus. have okay. more focus. To you have know, the time. Yeah, when you're on 10 energy. committees and you have 40 students, you know, when you have all these things that are part of the job, mm. there's always a couple things that you know are not vital to you being there. Yeah. Or you, you, you don't have to be a part of it. Yeah. And the whole idea of saying no is very difficult, but... Um, if, if people support each other and communicate it and respect that, mm -hmm. no, I, don't, I actually don't have time to be in your committee. I'm probably going to sit there and email because I have so many other things. Yeah, yeah, Do you really yeah. want me there? Probably not. Let's be honest about it. And, yeah. um, and I think that simplicity and focus it goes a long way. And again, it doesn't really cost anything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. hope, but your answer is better. No, no, I like, <laughs> I, I like that. And, and they work together. So. Okay. Well, very good. Thank yeah. you again Thank for, you very for much. being with us. And it's thank been you a guys. pleasure. Yep. Thanks very much.